Because it's not more powerful than God. It's just that God don't force himself on nobody. That's right. See, God waits for you to want him. But once you don't get wrapped up in sin, let me help you with something. Sin the, is, is, is for the flesh. Okay? So when we commit a sin, it causes us to feel some kind of way. Every sinful act that we commit, we felt something from it. Do y'all understand what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, yeah. We felt something from it. When we drank, we felt, we, we, we became intoxicated and we felt different and we felt happy. And mm -hmm. when we smoked cigarettes, that done something for us. And when we cussed somebody out, we felt some kind of way. When we sleep with folks, we feel some kind of way mm -hmm. from it. And once you get, you know, I was, a uh, 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 movie came on the other night, The Devil's Advocate. Mm. And that thing is so true. If you haven't watched it, please watch it. Because it's true. And one of the things that it showed was how the devil made the lawyer think that he was so powerful in winning all those court cases. But it was him behind it all, but it was a setup. See, the whole while, while the devil lead you, he got things looking like they're blessings. He got things set up for you to make it look like you you in the right place and what you're doing is okay because things keep looking up and keep looking. But at the appointed time. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. Like Bishop, like Apostle Milton said, like the Aladdin's lamp. Mm -hmm. When Aladdin was on that magic carpet, mm -hmm. and when he do what he, that's how the devil do you. He gets you, he takes you up. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And sometimes God take you up. But when that rug is snatched from under you, mm -hmm. how great is that fall? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Amen. Amen. And he sets you up. And then he set them up with these sex spirits. Mm -hmm. Sex demons mm -hmm. is what they were. Mm -hmm. And because in the movie, they show the spirit. The women were beautiful, but that spirit was demonic. Yep. Mm -hmm. And they showed it. And here's the thing that I've been telling y'all for so long. Once you intertwine, every demon he got, you got. That's right. Mm -hmm. That's right. Every demon he got, she got, and not only that, watch this. And every demon that he brought from whoever he was with before. Do y'all think God said no sex before marriage just to be mean? No, no. There's a reason. Okay. Okay. Watch this. When you get married, the Bible says, bone of my bone, flesh of my flesh. When the marriage become consummated, you become one flesh. Every time you have intercourse with someone, you become one with them. And when they showed it, them spirits was all tangled up, all wrapped around him. It was the Y'all get the movie here and watch it. Mm -hmm. I'm telling you, you would think twice about how you throw yourself around. Mm -hmm. God didn't say that just to be mean. 
He could have said, don't do it at all. If he wanted to be mean, he's trying to help you. He trying to, you think, you don't think God knew that we would run into an AIDS epidemic? And folks run around and flood themselves and lay up with folks at will and just as free as a bird, no counter protection. I was looking at fatal attraction last night. And this woman was found stabbed to death in her apartment. Her children found her. These are true stories. She had a laundry list of men. So they didn't know who had killed her. Till finally, they found this one they had talked to and they pretty much let, let him off the hook. But they couldn't find nobody that, you know, the, the pieces fit towards to charge them. So they went back to him one more time. Come to find out he had a wife and kids. So they go to the door and, and ask for him and the police telling him, we want to talk to you about this girl. And here the wife don't know nothing about it. Gets to the police station and asks him about it. He told him, no, it was, he just slept, she was just somebody he slept with. He ain't coming about her, but last time he was there, they did what they did and he left. He lied. Then he got, I guess, conviction. This is what he told the police. He said, she killed me. So I killed her. She was HIV positive and she didn't tell him. And when she told him, was the, the time she told him was right after they had had sex again. So he was mad. He left, went home, called her up the next day or two and said, I want some, I'm coming through. She said, okay. He went, they did, and when he finished, he stabbed her to death mm. and left her laying in a puddle of blood. And the Texas was trying to get him off on a passion law, something about passion. If you kill somebody in the, in the crime of passion, but that's not what it was. It was something else. Huh? No. No, 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 no. It was supposed to have been something that caused you to act suddenly without, but because he went back, it was more so premeditated. Somebody cop blown. Because it was, because he went back and killed her afterwards, that made it premeditated. And they gave him 40 years. Mm -hmm. But I said all that to say. And watch it. That's my car. He probably sit on the thing. Mm -hmm. 